Hello and welcome to this Mathematics VMK on Parabolas in Two Dimensions. In this VMK, I'll be describing the equations of a parabola as well as the parameters within the equation so that you understand how to formulate parabolas in 2D space. If you find my tutorials helpful and you'd like to support my website, please go to www.maticnose.com and click on the PayPal icon or any of the Google ads found on the right side. The general equation of a parabola is shown here. y equals k times bracket x minus x naught all squared plus y. Now, the y value and the x value are the coordinate values on the parabola as you're moving. The k value is a shaping value that is used to determine how much the parabola opens or closes, as well as which direction it opens. The x naught and the y naught value are used to determine where the maximum or the minimum value of the parabola is located. To define a parabola, you need to know where the minimum or maximum point is located, as well as what is the shape factor. So minimum and maximum point are defined by x naught y naught, and the shape factor is the value k. If k is greater than zero, then the parabola will open upward, and p naught will be the minimum point on the parabola. If k is less than zero, then the parabola will open downward, and p naught will be the maximum point on the parabola. Let's take a look at some plots. This is a standard parabola with y equals x squared. So you can see here, as we move in the x direction, y is the square value of x. At 1, we have y equals to 1 squared, which is also 1. At x equals 2, we have y equals 4, and so on and in a negative direction it's the reverse. For this parabola, we have a k value equal to 1 and a x naught y naught value equal to 0, 0, since the minimum point here is equal to 0, 0. Also notice that because k value is equal to 1, that means the parabola opens upward. Let's take a look at y equals minus x squared. Here we have the parabola opening downward. The maximum point now is defined for us at 0, 0, but the shape of it is exactly the same, because k value is equal to minus 1. Let's change the k value and take a look at what happens to the parabola. Okay, here's the original parabola. This is the parabola when k equals 2. You notice that it still is opening upward, but now it's squished so that it's not as wide. If we increase k value to 5, we get the following. Again, the parabola is squished even further. Now, if we just change the, the sign of the k value to be negative, so we'll have k equals negative 5, the parabola just flips like this. That's what the k value does. Now let's take a look at what happens when we change the max min point. Again, here's the original equation, y equals x squared. Let's move the max min point to be located at 2, 1. When we do this, the, the entire parabola shifts, but the way that it opens doesn't change, because that's only controlled by the k value. And if we flip the k value from 1 to minus 1, we get the following. So now you see that the parabola is opening downward. Anytime the parabola is opening downward, there will be a maximum point. When the parabola opens upward, there's a minimum point. This is important to notice. If we change the k value to be less than 1, then the parabola starts opening wider and wider, like this. This is a parabola with a k value of a half. This is a parabola with a value of 0 0.1 for k. Notice that the lower we go in the k value, the more and more the parabola becomes open. Eventually, when we set k equal to 0, we get the following the parabola ends up looking like a horizontal line. And you can't tell whether we have a maximum or a minimum point. If you want to understand parabolas in two dimensions, all you need to do is understand this equation. y equals k, x minus x naught, all squared, plus y naught. 